small sided game coaching the topic of support play. When the team you are coaching gain possession, establish the basic attacking principle of create space as a team. Try and encourage the team you are coaching to demonstrate width, depth, mobility, penetration, improvisation and patience. It is important that the coach takes a position where they can see most of the play. This is an example start point. The ball is with the goalkeeper and the team immediately creates space as a team. Initially, we will look at coaching the defensive unit. In this example, the ball has been distributed to the wide defender. Can they be positive and run with the ball or look to pass forward positively? If they aren't options, then it is important that the other defenders provide support behind the ball so the ball can be rotated back across the pitch with the players demonstrating patience to maybe switch play to the defender on the opposite flank. As that is happening, the other defenders will pivot round to provide cover and defensive balance. In this scenario, the forwards have stopped the momentum of the attack. So once again, patience should be shown and here the ball might be switched from one flank to another in one ball. And as the ball is traveling, the other defenders pivot round to provide cover and support. In this example, the two forwards have stopped the wide defenders getting, getting out, so the ball is rolled to the centre half who can drive forward into the space with the other two defenders covering around. We now move on to coach the midfield unit, linking them with the defensive unit. Here the ball is with the fullback and the, the midfield players look to provide mobility and find space to receive the ball. Here the ball is played to a wide player. Support is provided behind and square of the ball. Can the wide player attack the defender on a 1v1? If not, support is provided behind the ball and wide for the ball to be switched. As the ball is switched, the defensive unit and the midfield unit pivot round to pro provide support and cover behind the ball. If the player can't go forward with the ball, patience should be shown, good support in angles and distance so the ball can be played backwards and wide to a player in space. As the ball is travelling, the players pivot round. In this example, the midfield player goes on an overlap supporting run from a wide player who is driven inside with the ball. Here, the wide player has gone wide with the ball, creating an underlap opportunity for a supporting run from a midfield player. Here the midfield player shows for the ball, draws the defender towards him and creates space wide for a supporting run from a defender.
Again, all the players move to support the ball as it travels. Here the midfield player finds some space to receive the ball and face the opposition goal. In this scenario, the player will need support in front of them so they can pass the ball forward positively or drive into the space created. We now look at coaching the forward unit, linking the play with the midfield unit and the defensive unit. If the fullback gets the ball, can the midfield players create a channel for the ball to be passed forward? Here the first forward has come short with a view of receiving the ball and turning with the ball. If they are facing the opposition goal, can the other forward and midfield players provide support in front of the ball? The first option might be the forward in the channel that's been created. The second option might be to a wide midfield player making a supporting run behind the defence. Here the first forward comes short and draws the defender with them. This creates the space for the second forward to make a penetrating run in the space that's been created. As the ball is travelling, it is important that the midfield players and the forward look to support the player on the ball. In this example, the ball is with a midfield player who can look forward. The forwards have pulled wide to create space centrally for the ball to be played behind the defence. Here the forwards have stayed central and backed into the defence to create an attacking bubble. This might create a quick combination play between the forwards might create an opportunity for a supporting midfield player to join in the attack. It creates the possibility of a 1-2 between the midfield player and a forward. As the attack is developing, it is important that the back defenders squeeze up and provide a defensive balance. Here is another opportunity to create support play between the two forwards and end up with a shot on goal. Or for a supporting midfield player to join in in wider areas to get behind the defence and to cross or shoot. Coaching in free play. The coach should look for opportunities in free play where their team gain possession. Immediately, the team should look to create space as a team and to try and be positive and play the ball forward if at all possible. It is important that the coach takes a position where they can observe all the players in free play. In this situation, the ball is crossed for the goalkeeper to gain possession. Once again, 
the coach should be checking that the players react in the way they've been coached to create space as a team. And as the ball is traveling, that the player receiving the ball has support options behind the ball, in front of the ball, and square of the ball. As the attack is developing, the coach is checking that the forwards and midfield players are reacting to support the cross and that there is a defensive balance, a defensive triangle as the attack develops. <laughs> 